In this video, we will have a look at the TCP measure function on a universal robot. You can find this function under the installation tab under general and TCP. And right here, right next to where you would usually manually select uh, tool position offsets, you will find this measure button with a magic wand icon next to it. Um, this allows you to very accurately measure the offsets of your TCP, both the positional offsets, but also the orientational rotation offsets. If you're using your robot in a very simple way by simply using yeah, pick and place operations that you teach manually by moving the robot to a certain position, you might not need a very accurate um, tool center point because every position, every uh, inaccuracy of the tool center point is basically um, compensated for by you moving the robot exactly where it needs to be. However, if you're doing anything more complicated, if the orientation and direction of your robot is, is very important, um, and especially if you're using any kind of digital twin where you really need to have perfect uh, congruence between the settings on your simulated robot and the real robot, you will need to um, measure this TCP with a lot of accuracy. And this measure function helps us to do that um, at a very, very high degree of accuracy, as you will see in a moment. So in order for us to measure a TCP, um, we first, of course, need some kind of tool. Right now, I simply have this gripper attached to the robot. And the tip of this gripper is basically in line with my robot flange. So the tip of this gripper should be perfectly in line with the robot flange. And it's just an offset in the Z direction of the robot um, that describes the tool center point of this gripper. And you can see this right here, where the, the only setting that was done is this Z offset. So just as I said, if you have a very simple operation, this might be enough. However, I will attach a pen to this gripper. So we have a bit of a more, yeah, more interesting TCP or more interesting tool attached to the robot that we can then measure and validate. So now I've attached this pen to the robot. And as you can see, it's not just attached in a, um, in a 90 degree angle or in, in a straight line compared to the, to, the, um, to the current TCP, but it's actually offset at an angle. So now we not only have a more interesting offset right here that would also be maybe a bit difficult to measure um, from the flange, but we also have a different direction that we need our um, tool center point uh, plane to follow. So in order to set this, we will first create a new TCP. This is TCP4. And for now, we'll also set this as our default TCP um, by selecting this bookmark icon to the right. And you can see all of our offsets are currently set to zero. And I will now select the measure function right here. And the measure function tells us to move the TCP to the same position from different angles. So what that means is that we want our tip of the robot to go to the or tip of a tool to go to the same point in space multiple times, but from different directions. And for this demonstration, I will simply use this piece of tape here with a, uh, where two lines are crossing. And so we have a defined point that we um, will go to multiple times. However, depending on your tool, you might want to have a more, um, more precise and maybe also a more, um, basically a point that is sticking, sticking out. So for example, the, the corner of this table could be a point that is more convenient to you because depending on your tool, you might have difficulties um, going to the same point from different orientations. So a point that is basically sticking out is, is more convenient than one that is attached to a flat surface. Um, just as a note, this setup is also a bit suboptimal because this table is not attached to our um, robot base. So in the real world, you would probably want to make sure that you have a very stable and directly connected um, location that you're measuring from, because in this case, this could shift during measurement and basically um, mess up our accuracy. But for this demonstration, this should be enough. So I will now go into my um, robot pendant and I will set the first point.
And now I simply move the robot with its TCP or with the tip of the pen to that location. You should be as accurate as you can. Of course, the more accurate you are, the better your results will be. Um, I will do the same two more times. And I really try to make sure that the orientations that I'm using um, are different from each other. So if you're only moving the robot just a tiny bit, your calculation will be less accurate. Um, you can of course also use the, the movement buttons in the move tab, but um, for now I'm using the free drive function of the robot. All right, I will set the third point. And as you can see, even though we can set a fourth point, um, these three points were actually enough. So right now we have a calculated position of our TCP, um, but we can use a fourth point to um, set, to basically be more accurate. And if something is off, so if one of the points was, was wrong, this fourth point will also tell us um, that the measurements don't really make sense and that you might need to, to redo them. So I will set a fourth point. And you can see if all of these points are green, then our measurement is valid. And we can simply set our TCP. And now our offsets of this TCP are transferred to the TCP position. And you can also see that sometimes we have offsets that are quite large or that are larger than we might have anticipated. We might have thought that our um, tip of the pencil is basically in a straight line compared to the x-axis of the robot, but it's actually offset by, um, by four millimeters. So that could be a measurement inaccuracy. I'm guessing that this, this time around, it's, it's actually a measurement inaccuracy. So um, because this pen is of course not perfectly rigid, but um, this would be a good place or a good time now for you to, to check um, if, this, if these uh, values make, make sense or if you might want to measure again. You can validate and check these values by going into the move tab and using the TCP orientation um, rotation commands to basically move your robot around the TCP that you have just created. So I will use these different commands. You have to make sure that your robot is not close to a singularity, otherwise you might um, run into issues. But I can use these commands to basically move my robot around this new TCP that I've just created. And if everything was done correctly, you will see that the robot basically orbits around the point that we've created. So the point shouldn't really move in space and the robot should just move around it. As you can see, it's not perfectly accurate, but um, it's good enough for this demonstration. So after you've validated this and you know that your position is, is good, then we will have a look at the orientation. And the orientation can also be set with a measure function, but this works a bit differently than um, the measure function for the position. So instead of measuring points, we basically have to align our robot with a feature. I will not go into how you can set your own features. Um, the features can also be, be uh, found in the installation tab under the feature tab. 
And here you can add um, your own features. You can add points, lines, and planes. Um, and basically we need to align our TCP to one of these features. So for now, I will simply use the base feature. If I would want to be more accurate, I could create a, um, a new feature, a new plane that, for example, describes the, the surface of this table. Um, however, for now, it's, it's close enough to, our, um, to the base plane that I will not really uh, uh, mess with this. But um, in order to align our robot to it, it, it might be a bit more, um, more difficult. So we now want to have our robot pointing in the same direction as our feature. And the base feature is basically, yeah, it has a z-axis that points straight up. So if we want our z-axis on the robot to also point straight up, we want to have this TCP basically point into the same direction. I hope this makes sense, but let me show you what I mean. So I will use a straight edge to, um, to check my orientation. And yeah, this can be a bit tricky. Um, I will leave it like that for now because we're only interested in our Z axis. But of course, depending on your tool, you might also want to be, uh, you, you might also want to make sure that the other axes are also aligned. So you might want to make sure that your, your robot is, is correctly aligned to your, um, to your base feature in this, in this example, but also to, to any feature that you um, use as your reference. So this is a bit more finicky and more, um, more similar to, to normal uh, measurement. But now that we've aligned our robot um, to this feature, we can go ahead and set this right here and then set this new orientation. And as you can see, what it did is to basically transfer our um, base coordinate frame to this TCP, so to this um, offset location. And now we have our TCP location, but also our orientation. And in order to check the orientation, we will go back into the move tab and we will basically just move our robot along the Z axis of our, um, of the tool. So we will go into the feature tool and move it in, uh, in the Z axis and make sure that we're actually following along the, the direction of the pen. And it's doing just that. Um, of course, this is a bit, uh, this is not very interesting because it's, um, uh, because the, it's basically still aligned to our base coordinate system. But um, if we were to put the robot at an angle, And then again, in tool space, move in Z direction, you will see that it perfectly follows the direction of your pen. Of course, this depends on how accurate you were with your, um, with your measurements. But you can see that we're following this direction. And as I said, right now we're only interested in the Z direction, but um, the same alignments um, also, also uh, uh, apply to the other directions. So if you're also interested in, in the X and Y direction of your tool, and that needs to be in a specific um, rotation, basically around this Z axis, you also have to make sure that when you're aligning the robot to your feature, that you take this into account. So. 
that's it for now. Let me show you one more time how accurate um, we got. And here you can see our robot orbiting around our new tool center point. And also moving in its direction. All right, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment. Um, this is also very nicely documented in the user manual of the Universal Robot. And of course, there's always the Universal Robots forum and um, documentation pages where this is also um, uh, documented. Especially if you have a different kind of robot, if you have a um, uh, robot of the CB series or a robot with the new Polyscope X interface, this might look a bit different. Your interface will look different, um, but the steps are basically the same. You will just need to find where these uh, buttons are located and where these tabs are located. But the, the um, process will be the same.